Windows 8.1, my retrospective of this OS. Windows 8.1 is a release of the Windows NT operating system developed by Microsoft. It was released to manufacturing on August 27, 2013, and broadly released for retail sale on October 17, 2013, about a year after the retail release of its predecessor, and succeeded by Windows 10 on July 29, 2015. Windows 8.1 was made available for download via MSDN and TechNet and available as a free upgrade for retail copies of Windows 8 and Windows RT users via the Windows Store. A server version, Windows Server 2012 R2, was released on October 18, 2013. Windows 8.1 aimed to address complaints of Windows 8 users and reviewers on launch. Enhancements include an improved start screen, additional snap views, additional bundled apps, tighter OneDrive, formerly SkyDrive, integration, Internet Explorer 11, i.e. 11, a Bing-powered unified search system, restoration of a visible start button on the taskbar, and the ability to restore the previous behavior of opening the user's desktop on login instead of the start screen. Windows 8.1 also added support for then emerging technologies like high resolution displays, 3D printing, Wi Fi Direct, and Miracast streaming, as well as the ReFS file system. Windows 8.1 received more positive reception than Windows 8, with critics praising the expanded functionality available to apps in comparison to Windows 8, its OneDrive integration, its user interface tweaks and the addition of expanded tutorials for operating the Windows 8 interface. Despite these improvements, Windows 8.1 was still criticized for not addressing all issues of Windows 8, such as poor integration between Metro-style apps and the desktop interface, and the potential privacy implications of the expanded use of online services. Official mainstream support for Windows 8.1 ended on January 9, 2018, and extended support will end on January 10, 2023. Mainstream support for the Embedded Industry Edition of Windows 8.1 ended on July 10, 2018 and extended support will end on July 11, 2023. As of November 2022, 2.45% of traditional PCs running Windows are running Windows 8.1, making it the fourth most popular Windows since Windows 11 surpassed it. Windows 10 still holds 69% market share, and Windows 11 is on the slow rise, holding 13% of market share in total. Windows 7 is still running on 10% of PCs worldwide, and XP is even hanging on at 0.4% market share? Was Windows 8.1 really as bad as people said it was? In my opinion, no, because Windows 8.1 addressed the problems present in Windows 8, and it is somewhat better than the original Windows 8, however, it still received critical reception from the consumers. I've used Windows 8.1 in a virtual machine many times before, and I must say, it feels somewhat similar to Windows 7 in some ways, and it feels more like 10 in other ways. Had of it not been for Windows 8, or 8.1, we probably wouldn't have had a Windows 10 or 11 come along. Unfortunately, the time has come for Microsoft to cut the plug on all support for Windows 8.1, and the embedded edition gets 7 months of extra updates, until July 10, 2023. Meanwhile, the server edition is supported until October 10, 2023. Windows 7 ESU updates will also cease on January 10, 2023. What can you do to keep secure? Well, the easiest thing to do, would be to upgrade to Windows 10 or 11, or cross the waters to Mac OS, Linux, or another OS, such as FreeBSD. You can also keep running Windows 8.1 but keep it offline, to reduce your risk of being exploited or hacked. This will also reduce your chances of getting malware on your machine. Alternatively, you can run Windows 8.1 in a sandboxed environment, 
such as a virtual machine. Was Windows 8.1 your favorite version of Windows, or did you hate it with a passion? Let me know in the comments section below. Alrighty, that's it for this retrospective video folks. Please remember to hit that subscribe button, and do be sure to give my videos a thumbs up, it would be much appreciated, and do enable notifications, so that you won't miss out on any future videos. Okay, bye for now.